All right, so we're going to have a look at getting set up with Basehead Creator Edition. So this is the free version of the flagship Basehead product, which is targeted mainly towards content creators, students, or anyone that's just getting started in the audio industry. So this will offer the database and searching functionality of sound effects, as well as being able to add and incorporate uh, the freely available cloud packs that uh, Basehead offers, as well as purchasing your own. And we can also add our own local files up to 6900 in the free version. So let's have a look at getting it set up and getting started. So first of all, head over to baseheading.com forward slash creator. Get set up with an account if you don't already have an account. Uh, make sure you sign up to the newsletter just so that you can stay up to date with the latest features and developments. And then just download your version of Basehead for either Mac or PC. All right, so when we launch Basehead Creator for the first time, uh, we just need to enter in the email and password for our Basehead account. And then select the server closest to the region that we're living. So we'll be greeted by a uh, simple splash screen here that uh, just uh, shows a little bit of information about the Creator Edition. And then on the first run, we have the option to install the free cloud packs uh, into Basehead. So there's a number of free cloud packs we can add into Basehead. I uh, would just check this box here. Then we have the option to install the BBC Archive Cloud Pack. So this is a curated version of the BBC Archive sound effects. Uh, we can add this into Basehead by clicking this option, but we do have to uh, read the end user license agreement first. So if we click on this, this will take us to the BBC end user license agreement. Uh, just scroll through and make sure that you're aware of what the license allows and what it doesn't allow. Uh, make sure that uh, if we are installing this, we've checked the option here and that we do fully understand. And then we just need to set the location where all of our cache files will be downloaded and installed when we're browsing our cloud packs. And then the cloud packs will be added into our base head pig tree. So from here, we can start browsing files straight away. Uh, we can click on any cloud packs and start browsing the files within those cloud packs. Uh, or we can do a search. Now any files matching our search will be listed in the results list here. Now, if we're not finding what we're looking for, we do have the option to search the commercially available cloud packs. So the little cloud icon here shows there are 366 matches in the commercial cloud packs. And then selecting one of these files, we can then preview the sound. And then if we wanna buy this pack, we can actually click this buy pack button, which will take us straight to the cloud pack in the cloud pack manager store where we can choose to view the entire cloud pack in Basehead. So if we click this button, it will load up all of the available files in that pack within Basehead to preview. Uh, or we can click the buy now button, and then this will be added into our Basehead for us to use. Now, if we wanted to add our own files into Basehead, uh, we can just simply grab a folder of files. So here I've got a few of my uh, field recordings. And we can just grab this and drag it straight into Basehead. And so once these files have been imported, these will now be available in the list. So if I wanted to search for city sounds, for instance, then I can see my local files here. Okay, lastly, we will look at how to get files out of Basehead. So there's a couple of different ways of getting files out of Basehead that are supported in the free version. Uh, what we can do is we can use the spot to track feature if you have a supported application. So in the options menu here, it lists what applications are supported. Uh, it doesn't mean that these are the only ones that we can use, but it just means that these will work with the integrated spot to track feature. Uh, so what that means is when we want to send this file into our door, uh, what we can do is just simply press the S key and this will send it straight to the timeline of the supported application. Now we can also use the drag and drop feature as well. So this bar here, uh, if we just click this and drag this, we can drag it into any application that supports drag and drop. Uh, this includes uh, the Explorer or the uh, Finder windows on PC and Mac as well. Now, whatever is displayed in the waveform view is what we will be exporting. If we make a selection, this selection is what will be exported. 
So there's a lot of features to have a look at. Uh, there is a little options gear here. It's worth spending a bit of time going through some of the additional features and functions of Basehead. But that's a quick overview of how to get going with Basehead Creator Edition. Uh, there's a lot of video tutorials and additional information on the Basehead website. Come <laughs> on.